let me extend to you all an extremely warm welcome. Uh, we are delighted to see so many of you here this morning. Uh, I think we have a wonderful array of uh, speakers and participants. Uh, many of those who have been at the forefront, I think, of the great migration of content, uh, either in the development of models, business models, uh, for creating and distributing uh, cultural works in the digital environment, or at the forefront of thinking through what exactly is happening here uh, and what are the consequences of this great migration. Uh, what is our objective in this particular treaty, which has its genesis actually in the development agenda uh, uh, of WIPO and, and a particular project uh, on IP, intellectual property and competition? I think our objective is, is uh, first and foremost to take stock, uh, once again, if I may say, but to take stock of uh, what has changed and is changing uh, in licensing in particular or more generally the distribution of content in the digital environment. Uh, and secondly, and perhaps more importantly, uh, to see what is not working, uh, what is needed, uh, uh, what is lacking in the current system for dealing with the generation and distribution of creative works. Uh, and in particular, uh, what is lacking or what is needed to make a, a vibrant market marketplace, a vibrant marketplace which respects, uh, I think, the fantastic possibilities for the generation and distribution of content that are given by uh, the digital environment. Um, to make a pro-competitive marketplace uh, one in which there is space for all actors and, and for new actors in particular to participate uh, and also and perhaps above all to make an efficient marketplace because the great trends of convergence and globalization have left a certain redundancy in some of the models that we have used in the copyright world for over a hundred years now. Uh, so an efficient market uh, place that respects, I think, the, uh, the speed of the technology, uh, the global reach of the technology, uh, and the global audience that there is for creative works uh, increasingly. Uh, let me just make uh, one obvious point here, uh, and that is that uh, when one uh, addresses these questions, you know, what is missing in the current environment uh, to make a vibrant and an efficient uh, marketplace and a pro-competitive marketplace. I think it's a very different problematic, obviously, quite obviously, uh, and probably therefore very different solutions from the situation that we faced at the end of the 19th century during another wave of globalization with the railways, of course, the steamships, steamships, the telegraph and the telephone, all of which brought about a much more intense uh, set of connections and a much more intense movement of people uh, and ultimately cultural goods. And it was a very different problematic that we now face from that, that one. That one led, of course, to the conclusion of the Berne Convention and to an emphasis on uh, the legal architecture as uh, the place where uh, something was missing and the place where we could find solutions. Uh, I personally believe that while the legal architecture is of course immensely important, uh, in the current environment the technical architecture, and I think our uh, lead speaker has pioneered this train of thought, the technical architecture, Professor Lessig, the technical architecture uh, and infrastructure is of course key to both the description of what is lacking and the solution. Um, and that we should indeed focus on that. What uh, are the elements of technical infrastructure or architecture that are missing in the system uh, in order to make a vibrant, pro-competitive and efficient marketplace? Uh, I think the discussion, or I hope the discussion, will generate this, but let me just say that there are, of course, many interesting ideas around, uh, and 
just in passing, let me mention what seems to be an idea whose time has come uh, of a global repertory database as an essential piece of, of global infrastructure or an essential global public good uh, or asset uh, as one obvious, at least, path that we should follow in our discussion of uh, identification of gaps and uh, suggestions of solutions for the future. Uh, let me say in conclusion that, that as far as WIPO is concerned, I would like to assure you all that we are totally committed to uh, this area and to finding a way in which we can make copyright work in the digital environment. Uh, and what does that mean? I think we're all agreed on the objective here. The objective is to have the widest possible availability of cultural works that is enabled by the new digital environment, while at the same time also affording a viable economic <coughs> basis for culture. Uh, a, a viable economic basis for the culture, major cultural participants. We're all agreed on, on I think, the objective, and we are uh, at WIPO, of course, absolutely committed to this and to ensuring that whatever we can do, we will do to contribute.